everyone. This is for all signs. We are going to do a love reading. We're going to find out who's coming in for you, what's going on. Okay, first card is the Nine of Cups. So, could be a water sign coming in for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, but this person with the Nine of Cups, they could be coming around Christmas since I see the Christmas tree. Um, it could be coming around the holidays, but I do feel like this is like a wish that you've asked for. This is something you've been hoping for, dreaming for. The here thing could be dealing with a, a Taurus. And the nine of wands. Wow. Okay. So with two nines, okay, nines being endings and the hierophant, somebody may be going through a divorce. Okay. The hierophant can be marriage. This can also mean that this could be something that leads to marriage. Take it how it resonates for you. If this person's in another relationship, you have the judgment card. Mm -hmm. So this person's definitely going through a lot of stuff, okay? If this person's ever hurt you in the past, believe me, with the Judgment card and the Nine of Wands, this person's um, faced their karma. They've kind of gotten um, judged for this, okay? They also may be judging themselves for how they've treated you, for walking away from you, for this person could have been like, yeah, this was too much, I have to walk away. Whatever this was, it's like... This person is doing a lot of work, okay? They may be walking away from an addiction, alcohol addiction. Um, this this person is making healthier choices to me. Um, there's like a lot of coffee in this cup. Maybe they're cutting coffee. Maybe they're on a diet, eating better. Just making better choices for themselves, okay? The middle card is the Nine of Wands, okay? I'm going to clarify that with the Two of Cups and the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. And the hangman. So to me, it's like with the nine of wands, this is like a wounded warrior. This is somebody who's been through hell and back. Okay. With the three of pentacles and the hangman, I do feel like this person's making better choices, you know, putting their life back together, putting things in order, you know, hanging things out to dry, getting rid of things that no longer serve them. With the two of wands and the two of cups, they're definitely making plans to be able to uh, be more, um, how do you want to call it? Consistent, okay? With what it is that they um, want to offer you. Okay, let's see how they view you. How do they see you? The Queen of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands is the most beautiful person in the deck, okay? So, they consider you very attractive, very beautiful, very intuitive. Also, very... Um, intimidating because you see how she's got her, like her hand out like this it's like you don't take no shit and this person knows that the page of cups i feel like you bring a lot of like fun to the relationship they see you as like you know every day is like a new thing with you right they're always learning something new about you i feel like they see that you are um like to be with you, it could just grow, right? It only grows from here. Like, it doesn't get, I don't really see it getting any better. With the Knight of Wands, I do feel like they consider you maybe back and forth towards them, okay? Or cold-hearted towards them, maybe because they've hurt you in the past or whatever the case this, you know, is. With the Strength card, they consider you very brave, very courageous, very, um feisty like i said with the queen of wands and the strength card which is leo usually has the lion on there it's like you don't take no shit and you don't keep your mouth shut if you have something to say you're gonna say it and like i feel like your words have power and um the ten of cups and the page of wands it's like and then the sun card too on the bottom of the deck and then i feel like i want to pull this yeah the five of cups so they do regret okay not being able to you know give you what it is that they know that you want it, okay? With the Ten of Cups, they do see you as, like, they're happily ever after, you know. Um, they're very content with you. I mean, they would be. It's just in the past, I feel like whatever this was, like, if there was a third party or something that was in the way. Okay, whatever that third party is, as I'm talking about it, you get the coffin. And then spring new beginnings. 
and then you have healthy choices. Didn't I just say they were making healthier choices? Okay, so they are starting to love themselves more. They're starting to eat better. I feel like they're also taking themselves away from the things that no longer serve them. With the Eight of Cups, they are anything that isn't working out for them, anything that's keeping them stuck, they're choosing to leave that behind, even no matter how long they've had that, how long they've dealt with it, they're ready to leave that behind because they realize that was one of the things that's blocking them from being able to get back with you. With the stability and security card with the palm tree, it's like this person is growing so much and it's like they, it's like meeting you has made them change their whole life around and it's like, in a way, it's like you've inspired them to want to be better. I feel like they look up to you. They look up to the person that you are, how optimism, how optimistic you are about the future and life. And it's like you don't pay attention to the glass being half full or half empty. It's like you're able to see the good in, noth in no matter what. And it's like they're not. And I feel like they're learning, though. Okay? But the sun, they do consider you is like... When they hear from you, I feel like there's butterflies, like they're happy, they're smiling, you know, and then it's like when they don't have any contact from you, it's like it feels like really sad and, you know, five of swords, quiet, you know, they do beat themselves up about things, okay, for keeping themselves in a bubble for so long, but it's like they needed to do that because they had a lot of cleaning up to do, okay? They needed to clean up their act, they needed to clean up their character, whatever it was that they were stuck with, needed to go, okay? Look, soulmates and TikTok, this person feels like they're in a rush, and then you have loyal heart. And then to the sea. So this person, even though they've left, they still have binoculars on the back of their boat. They're still focused on you. It's like this person could be away from you for years and they'd still remember you. They'll never be able to forget about you. The connection that they share with you is very strong. I feel like they put you above the rest with the sun, the queen of wands, the strength card, the ten of cups. It's like, you know, and I do feel like this person realizes that you're their soulmate and how loyal you are. And it's like they're in a rush to get back to you because... They know that somebody that's this good-hearted and this loyal and this attractive, like, you can find anybody. You can get anybody that you want. Another card about endings. It says they entered your life to, to test you, okay? Um, you have the overflow card, so their heart is overflowing with emotions. They're, I was seeing this as I was shuffling before I even started this reading. Whatever it is that they've done to you or didn't do or whatever this is, they are haunted by their actions and non-actions because they realized that it kept them away from you. You have dreams. They're haunted in their dreams, okay? And these dreams drive them crazy. It's like they crying in their dreams. I'm, I'm like literally seeing somebody running in the, door, in the dark by themselves trying to look for you and can't find you. It's like, literally, like, this person searches for you in their dreams and they can't find you. It's like you lit their heart on fire. There's something that you have, look, lustful desires, passion. It's like this person is very, very, like, almost obsessed with you, but not in a bad way. Okay? In a very loving way. You have game over. They fear your wrath and they know that you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted efforts. So it's like they either have to come in and be 100% or don't come in at all. And that's the reason why they haven't came through yet. Because they're not, you know, quite, quite ready. You have the dark night of your soul. So they are going through a lot of struggles right now to try to figure out, like, what it is that they want in their life. You may have cut them off, set some boundaries, told them some shit about themselves. And it's like, they respect you for that. They're not mad at you for that. If anything, that attracts them to you even more. It's like, they love the respect that you have for yourself. They love the love that you have for yourself. So I'm going to use my Romance Oracle deck. We're going to get some cards. Deception. We will clarify that. If this person's acting like they don't want to, they do. They are just dealing with a lot of shits. I think it's easier for this person to act like they don't want you or to ignore you than to keep continuing on talking to you and not be able to give you the things that they know that you deserve. Okay, with the deception card, like I said, I am going to clarify that. I want to see what they are hiding because it could be anything. You have the hangman in reverse. The judgment card. You got the judgment twice. 
and the temperance card. You literally got four major arcanas, like for the deception. This person's going through a really, really tough time trying to look themselves in the mirror. I feel like they're having a hard time. Like I said, it's like with the hangman in reverse, it's like they're having a hard time seeing things in a better perspective. It's almost as if this person just wants to give up. Look, the knight of cups in reverse. The nine of cups and the six of pentacles. This person doesn't know if you'd ever even accept them back because I feel like you may have seen their true colors. You may have like seen right through them. And because of this, they have so much work to do. And it's like, even though they're doing the work that they need to do, I feel like they feel like they're never going to be good enough because they put you so high up there. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five major arcanas. They literally put you up there on the top of the emperor. You don't take no shit. They know that. And it's like, you scare them a little bit. You do scare them a little bit. So are they going to the two of wands? They're planning to do things, okay, the right way. The Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune. This is major, guys, okay? Even though this person has lied to you, they may have lied to... Um, to you about saying that they were married. They may have lied to you about saying something was over when it wasn't. Okay. Honeymoon, make the effort. This person may have lied and said they were going to come meet up with you and then they didn't. This person, I swear, this person's got a lot of stuff going on. Almost too much because it's like, I don't know. I feel like this person came in and it was like, they've taught you a lot, okay, about yourself, about what it is that you want in relationships. And like, even though this person's doing all the work that they need to do for themselves, like, I want to see how you guys are going to be because I literally don't even, how are you going to take it when they come back? The five of pentacles, you may walk away from this person because you feel like you can't trust them. The Six of Pentacles, because they didn't give you twice. They don't reciprocate. They didn't never reciprocate. What do you want from this person? The Seven of Swords. The Truth. Wow. The Three of Cups. I feel like you just want to find your happiness. And I feel like this person brought you happiness at one point. But maybe they have kind of may have fucked things up so bad to where it's like irreparable. The Eight of Swords. I feel like this hurts you. You don't want to walk away from this person. But I do see you guys walking away from this person. Literally. Two of Pentacles are too iffy. It's like juggling. It's like a risk. To you, you guys feel like this person's too risky. And it's like you did too much work on yourselves. For you guys, you know, to look back. You guys already moved forward from this. The Knight of Cups. You have empathy for them. You have sympathy for them. But with the Hierophant, you have goals. You have morals. You have respect for yourself. And I feel like you guys are not going to bow down to anybody who cannot respect you or did not respect you in the past. I feel like you guys are looking for something fresh. You're looking for your happiness. You're looking for your soulmate. You're looking for somebody. The Nine of Cups, your wish. Okay, this person was your wish at one point in time. But I feel like maybe they've proven to you that they couldn't give you what it is that you wanted and now you guys have moved forward the paranormal now you're more curious about finding out what else is out there look the ten of cups you guys know you're like you know what this isn't my only happily ever after there's uh, there's too many billions of people out here for me to only be stuck on one person i feel like you guys have moved on and for the most of you and for those of you have, who haven't i mean this person i do see them coming back but for the most of you, like I said, I think you guys have moved on and made up your mind. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm out. You got the Nine of Cups three times. Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups. You guys are having a wish come true here, okay? There is a wish coming in for you guys, but for everybody, obviously, it's going to be different. We're not all going to be wishing for the same thing. But I do see a wish being granted here. So it's like, you know, there is always something else. There is always, always somebody else.
So what else is coming in for you once you move on from this? The Page of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Wands. So there is new people coming in for you. I could see at least two people coming in for you that are brand new, okay? But with the Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands, it is going to hurt that you're ending this. It's not going to be easy. I feel like you're still going to feel attached to this person if you were to walk away from them. But you've done so much work on yourself, and you don't need to... Settle for less if you guys feel like this person can't give you what it is that you need, then do what you guys got to do, okay? So this new person, well, Eight of Cups is I'm saying that. This new person, um, this is walking away. But the new person that's coming in for you, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Cups, this is what you've been waiting for. This person is your happily ever after. This is what you've been waiting for with the Ace of Cups. This person is going to be able to fill your heart, fulfill your needs, okay, give you what it is that you've been asking and waiting for, and this person will step up, okay, so don't give up on love, okay, don't give up on love, keep on pushing for, on the bottom of the deck, the lovers, and then with the queen of swords, you guys are going to be able to see clearly that, you know, you're making the right decision here, okay, and I feel like the healthier choices could also be for you, as well okay so you guys are making healthier choices for yourself which will in turn also bring in more healthier you know people into your life too as well anyway that's what i got for you guys if this resonates please like and subscribe and have a good day toodles